In this video, I'm going to show you how to include custom fields in your SEO page analysis. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So when we talk about including custom fields in your SEO analysis, what we're talking about is the SEO analysis of a particular page or post, not the SEO analysis of your site in general. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one here called Test Puppy Post. And if we look up in the top right hand corner here, there's an AIO SEO score for this page of 55 out of 100. So that's the area we're talking about when we're talking about including custom fields in the SEO analysis. It's the SEO analysis of this particular page or post. If you haven't worked with custom fields before in WordPress, they do a pretty good job of hiding them. So we're going to want to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner of this page. And then on my screen, I actually have to zoom out to even get to the option we want. It's this preferences link down on the bottom. And then when the modal pops up, we want to click on panels. And underneath additional, we can see an option for custom fields. I'm just going to turn that toggle switch on. And then you need to click the enable and reload button and wait for the page to load. So obviously only do this if you've saved any changes you've made to your page or post. I'm going to zoom back into my normal view. And then if we scroll on down past the content to the bottom of the page, we get to the custom fields section. So I want to enter a new custom field. This can be kind of tricky because it looks like you can only choose a custom field from the select box here, but you can actually click this little link that says enter new and enter a new custom field. I'm just going to call this one more data. And then for the value, I'm going to enter I love puppies. And then I'm going to click Add Custom Field. And then I'm going to click Update. And then if we look at the SEO score for this page, it's still a 55, so it looks like nothing happened. The focus key phrase here is I love puppies. The reason nothing has changed yet is because we have not configured all-in-one SEO to include custom fields in its SEO score. So. I'm going to go do that now, and then we'll see how this number changes. So from the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on search appearance. I'm going to click on the content types tab up top. And underneath the post section, I'm going to click on the custom fields tab. And then I'm simply going to input the name of my custom field, which I think was more data. And then I'm going to scroll on down to the bottom and hit the big blue Save Changes button. And then I'm going to scroll back up and click on the Post section. And we can see on the post entitled Test Puppy Post that the score has, in fact, bumped up from a 55 to a 57. So in this case, it did not make a huge difference, but the custom fields have been taken into account when determining the all-in-one SEO score of this particular post. So that's how to include custom fields in your SEO page analysis. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to run an SEO analysis of your entire website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.